Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This is Arteries versus El Torero on Zed, a map which I think looks really cool. Orphelius disagrees, but I think it looks really cool, mostly because it uses nice Sky Reflect mod stuff, and I think that's a really nice texture feature. It just looks cool to me. Although I look at it and notice there's actually a bit of possibly a skybox wonkiness with the way that that works. Now it looks bad to me. Oh no, it's not skybox wonkiness, it's just the way the terrain cares. Okay, anyway, looks cool. The crystal trees I think look good, but Orphelius didn't like them. But then I have a thing for minimalist abstract art styles. Anyway, that aside, let's get to the game. So El Torero going for light vehicles while Arteries goes for Cloaky Bot Factory. I've actually played this map once. I was against... F oh, no. Was it Exploit, I think? Yeah, I was thinking it was against Exploit going as Spiders. Spiders can do some really cr some really mass major tricks here. Basically, every cliff along here, Spiders. Spiders can just go along here, up the side, up the back, everywhere. It's great for spiders. Good for light vehicles too, most likely. Bots can go through this section down here. Vehicles cannot. They have no access to the ramps. Bots have perfect access though. They basically have nothing that's blocking. The bots have nothing blocking them. That's it. But arteries, I don't think I don't know if they're gonna take advantage of that. Should be something to be taken advantage of, but I don't know if they're going to do that. What I'm guessing... Yeah, it looks like El Torero realizing a little bit too late that light vehicles cannot path down those ramps there. Which is possibly a problem? If Arteries takes advantage of that, it will be. But it's, really, it's too early to tell. I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to go. I do think that Light Vehicles is a mistake in this map just because of the fact that you essentially only have that one path. Like, that's it. You have your units here, and you have this path right here that just goes along, and that's it. That's the only path you have. Which might be why my Orphelia said this wasn't a very good map for gameplay. Because you just have that one ramp. You have, sorry, the one path. Whereas with bots, you can go along here, you can go along here, and the spiders, of course, can go along the edge of the cliff and go anywhere. But vehicles just have the main surface. But the question, of course, is will that make a difference? And will that make a difference in this matchup between Arteries and El Torero? Because Arteries, I don't believe, is as skilled of a player as El Torero, or at least not as well-practiced. El Torero is, I think, 2000 Elo or something. I don't have it right now. Check. I give away the game a bit, but... Oh, yeah, Arteries is at 1640. Okay! I will. At any rate... It doesn't look like Arteries is going to be using those ramps. Which would have actually been really handy, because right here it's open. This is a free entrance. The sites seem to have taken advantage of that, but the Glaives are not, and I don't know why. In fact, how many Glaives are... Where are Arteries' Glaives? Going straight for Rockos, okay, that makes some sense. Light vehicles, they kind of get countered by Rockos. But on this map, Glaives has so many angles to approach from. I don't know why they're trying to just go for Rockos and Warriors and go for a straightforward attack right now. Especially with Slashers in play, the Warriors will die. Very rapidly. Like, that is just going to be a problem. And this is where Arteries is going to fall apart. I mean, they have... Basically nothing. They lost a bunch of units inside of El Torero's territory. And El Torero, while they do have no real defensive line, they have nothing to worry about. There's that one scythe which is going to deal a bit of damage before the LLT kills it. And then that's about it. El Torero is essentially going to be perfectly safe. Yeah, there it goes. LLT coming in here, taking out the scythe. Actually, the scythe might be able to get some decent damage going before that happens. Oh, in fact, that Scythe is not going to take out the LLT in time. It could have, if it hadn't gone around it, then walked around. I'm not sure if that was bad pathing or not, but yeah. That was a bit problematic. I don't think... I think Arteries... They, I noticed a fight order before they attacked. I don't know if that was it, because... Yeah, it wasn't stopping, but I don't know if Arteries commanded it to stop. Yeah... That happens. That's that's always a, that's always extremely stressful when it happens. 
It's one of those things you just think, what in the world's going on? Why didn't that work? It's like some small thing you messed up. Or you put the command in the wrong spot, or you just were a bit too lazy with your commands and then it didn't work out. It's tricky sometimes. But at this point, the unit choice, I just find very questionable. Against Slashers? Against Slashers, Warriors are a terrible idea. Zeus are maybe an okay idea just because they can tank the Slashers. But Warrior Rocco is not great. The Warriors, I can kind of see, I guess they're trying to get rid of the slash, the Scorchers once the Slashers are dead. Okay, fine, but I think Zeus would still be able to tank well enough for that not to be a problem. Otherwise, Glaives aren't terrible. Really. Oh, the Warriors tanked enough. That's true, they did tank enough. They didn't tank especially well, though, I don't think. I mean, they, it hasn't gotten to the real meat of it, which is the Levelers, which actually is where they will shine. So I suppose in that case, Arteries didn't do the biggest mistake. Arteries need so much more power, though. Like, once again, we see another case where a player is relying way too little on their power. And I'm pointing this out because this is actually a problem that I personally have. I have a tendency to not build enough power myself, and so I, I'm going to be a little bit hypersensitive to it. Because it's very important. It's also really easy to forget because it's not territory control. So you think, oh, I have territory. I'm good. And then you realize, I don't have the energy to actually make use of that territory. I am accessing metal. That's that's really bad. At least not great. It's reclaim that's really bad. If you're reclaiming and accessing, then it's a waste. Unless you're denying, then it's not so bad. But still, ideally you're using every bit of metal you get from reclaim. From static economy, it's not as big of a deal because you still have the territory, you still will have the static economy even when you stop accessing, but you still would have been better off not accessing. It's never good to access. And now Artery's getting those wind generators up. I mean, they are the most cost-efficient option right now, 0.9 to 2.5. There is no reason to be build solar plants in this map, especially against a vehicle's opponent. I guess a bot opponent, there actually is reason to build solar plants, just because they're more defensible. So, in case stuff happens along the ramps. But for a vehicles player, that's not happening. The main threat is the front line, which is still falling. Warriors Rockers may have tanked that first attack well enough, but those Wolverines coming in here are destroying it. I mean, Wolverines are... They are currently considered to be essentially god-tier skirmishers. Them and Scalpels. Which is kind of funny, because they're actually artillery, but yeah. They're essentially the skirmishers of the Light Vehicle Factory, because Light Vehicles don't have much in the way of true skirmishers. But they have a strong artillery piece. And that is doing a number on ar on the forces of arteries. So El Tavera right now just slowly but surely creeping along the map, along that one path they have. But they are taking that path and making it their own. Which, I'm su which surprises me that arteries is not, as a result, going along the edges and trying to hit from behind. Because El Tavero, I mean... Arteries doesn't know this, but El Torero is assuming that Arteries has... Oops, I don't That's not what I wanted to know. I wanted to know what is the defense. There is hardly any along the back. The main base is open. And actually, what I did want to know, what radar coverage is there? Well, some. They'd see it coming to an extent, but yeah, Glaives coming along here. If a dozen Glaives came along this area here, just came down here and... Oops. I just like something. Came down here and this path, that would destroy everything. But that's not happening. Arteries is basically pouring all their metal into Rocco Warrior. Now, at this point, it's a little bit late to try to do something like that, because something like that would essentially require that the army in front of them is still destroyed. But it would mean no more reinforcements. If they smash this area up, torn up all the economy, tore up the factory, that would be extremely dev that would be devastating. I think that might actually turn the game around. The tricky part would be holding the line while they do that. And that would be very tricky indeed. But El Tavero is moving fairly slowly. I don't know if they'd realize when that would happen. So because they're moving so slowly, I think that Arteries may would, may still have a chance. But El Tavero is going to be pretty much reaching the end of that line. Like, whatever window of opportunity there is, that's rapidly closing. If it hasn't closed already. Actually, it's pretty much closed already. The Glaives would probably be able to get along here. Yeah, they'd be able to get along this back ramp, but that's nowhere near as powerful. Right, this ramp is, cl is cut off. This back ramp's almost cut off. The window of opportunity is pretty much spent. It's pretty much gone. There's unfortunately not much that can be done at this point. El Torero just has a more powerful force. Arteries early accessing did not help them out at all. Right, that access could have gone to Glaives, and those Glaives could have 
run, just run roughshod over El Tovero's base, but El Tovero is doing fine. Same could not be said for Artery's commander, which has just gone down, and I think Artery's is throwing in the towel with that commander death. Realizing they really can't hold the line anymore, because that was a big thing for them. That was an asset for them holding the line, and it's no longer there, and that with that the game ends. Okay. I can kind of see where you're coming from. Now, if you're going bot match in this map, it's a cool map. If you're going vehicles in this map, El Tavero did it right, but Arteries had a lot of options for subverting that. They're a bit tough to take because, like I said, you have to hold the line while pulling in those reserve forces going around the back. But still. Still a problem. Anyway, on to the next game, which should be a bit better. It's... I'm still not familiar with the map. It is Fairyland between Anarchid and El Torero. Should be a bit of a higher level match than the last one. Stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a moment. It is... Oh, sorry. I should have mentioned. It is on Fairyland, which I did mention. So, yeah. Back in a sec. <laughs> 